everything that you wrote about with me tonight, let's go there with each and every one of you. Let's go into those special places, mental, physical, emotional, where we need God to touch you. I want to pray into your healing capacity as well. I want to pray that every bad cell, just like we prayed for every bad neuron, just goes away. Because that's what God can do. He can get rid of every single bad neuron and every single bad cell. We underestimate God if we think he can't do it. And we, we overestimate the enemy, thinking there's nothing that can be done for us. So we want to crush the enemy for every one of your cells, because every single thing on these sheets is just enemy, just acting up and trying to make you guys miserable. For but let's go into every cell, uh, 37.2 trillion, just like we did in the neurons, and let's get rid of everything that isn't of God in your cells. If it's of God, it's going to be good. It's going to be healing. It's going to be a blessing. If it's not of God, let's kick it out. Let's get rid of every cell in your body that isn't good, that's damaged, that's making you sick. Whatever the illness is, let's get rid of the bad cells. I don't care if it's in your stomach, in your intestines, in your kidneys, in your muscles, in your ligaments, in your eyes, in your hair, in your bones. Let's just ask God to get rid of it. No part is better than any other part. And God created them to all be perfect, so let's create the, the perfection of God to be back within each and every one of us. And that's mental and emotional too. So I just want to pray, Lord, that you just kick out every single thing that's in everybody's cells that shouldn't be there. So I want to kick out cancer in every cell and in every mutation. We want to get rid of the mutation that you have it, and I want to get rid of every single cell that is not perfectly programmed. You shouldn't have it. Any one of us should not have cancer. I want to pray for every one of you with autoimmune disease. Very common, we have dozens and dozens of autoimmune diseases. Some of you all have these tonight because you wrote them on your sheets. So again, just remember that anything autoimmune is not of God, and it is unholy, and we can pray to get it healed. In the medical field, we cannot cure autoimmune disease. It's impossible. Can't do it. We can manage it. We can work with symptoms. God can heal anything. And God, I ask you to get rid of Hashimoto's disease. I ask you to get rid of uh, Graves' disease. I ask you to get rid of type 1 diabetes. I ask you to get rid of eczema. I ask you to get rid of multiple sclerosis. I ask you to get rid of... Um, celiac disease. I ask you to get rid of rheumatoid arthritis. I ask you to get rid of fibromyalgia. Um, endometriosis, the woman's disease that Melissa had, that's um, autoimmune. I ask every one of you to be freed from anything that is of the autoimmune level, which means it's inflammatory, and it means your own immune system to the devil is attacking you through inflammation and breaking down your healthy tissue. That's what autoimmunity does. You have a hyperactive immune system that just wants to crush everything that's good in the, in the affected tissue. Um, anything that we call auto-inflammatory that's similar to autoimmune, but isn't actually autoimmune, but it's very similar, almost identical. That's ankylosing spondylitis. Um, we want to pray that out. Some of the bowel things like like irritable bowel, that's more auto-inflammatory. They're very similar. We want to kick out psoriasis. We want to kick out all these illnesses, whether they're autoimmune or auto-inflammatory. We're virtually speaking about almost the same thing. So I'm going to kick that out in every one of you. Asthma and allergies are autoimmune. Think of how common these things are. Millions of people in our country have allergies and asthma. So we're going to kick this out. Kick out... Um, hypertension and heart disease, bronchitis, COPD. We have inflammation with all of these. So I want to kick out depression is, is inflammatory. How many of you know in the medical field that we found in the research that when you're depressed you have inflammation of your brain? Think about that. That's how the enemy messes with your brain is to make an inflammatory brain to make you depressed. So I want to pray this out of every single one of you so that you don't have to be dealing with this. I want to pray out pH imbalances, acidosis, 
for all of you. It goes with cancer, infectious disease, inflammation. Let's pray it out. Let's pray out structural damage, any pain in your whole body. I don't care where it is. Any muscle, any ligament, any tendon, any cartilage, any nerves, any bones, any of these things are structural. And millions and millions of people suffer from this. People go to the doctors every day because they have sore backs and sore shoulders and sore necks and sore elbows, and that's where you get carpal tunnel um, syndrome surgery and knee replacement surgery and hip replacement surgery from osteoarthritis. This is all the same stuff. It's just the enemy going in and damaging your structure. I want to pray that on every single cell. And just know that the, the, that the healing of God can be upon you for all of this. I want to pray out infectious disease from every one of your cells because we know that infections, whether viral, bacterial, fungal, cause a lot of illness. They contribute to it. It's not just Lyme's disease. It's a lot of different things are affected um, from the standpoint of having bad viruses, bad bacteria, bad fungal infections, candida, parasites in your body. I think the most important thing of all is what I did earlier with you guys, which is to pray out anything emotional, thought, mental, that is negative. Because that is truly of the enemy, trying to completely take away your hope, your joy, your health, your capacity to be your best self. And I want to pray that out of every single cell in your body. We worked on it in your brain. But every cell that is carrying depression, or hopelessness, or negativity, or anxiety, or anger, or resentment, or unforgiveness. People are just really get stuck with things like unforgiveness. She'll say, hey God, I'll do everything, but I won't forgive. I'll do everything you want, but I'll still hold a grudge. I'll still hold um, resentment, and I'll still judge people. It's what, it's what the enemy does. I want to pray out every drop of this so we can truly have the love of God, and it's the hardest thing. Because harder than curing cancer is curing a mind that holds negativity, grudges, upsets, hopelessness, um, frowns. Remember, how do we get rid of the devil? We smile. The biggest thing you can do to get rid of the devil is give him a fake smile. It can be a real smile or a fake smile, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get rid of the devil. And the devil will do anything to keep you frowning and keep you with negative thoughts because then he can control you. And then you're his. Do any of you guys really want to belong to the devil? So just know this. Just smile and smile and smile, even if people think you're crazy because you're smiling so much. Just smile every bit you can. And give that to other people. Give them joy. Think of how many people don't have the joy that they need in their lives because we're so invaded by the evil. And everybody's got reason to be unhappy. There's nobody that doesn't have that if you, if you find it. You absolutely have reason. Everybody can point for this in their lives. And yet we, we heal and we heal others when we take in the love of God and we beam it out to other people. So the last healing I want to, want to do with you all tonight is bring, I don't even have to do this, the love of God is within every one of us, but I want to beam it into your cells. 37.2 billion cells, I want to be the love of God, and what do they say in the book of John and all over the Bible? God is the light. In him there is no darkness. Remember that, the darkness is the enemy, so when our hearts are dark, and we carry negativity, that is not the God that has created us. In Him there is no shadow, there is no darkness. The, the healing gifts of God come from heaven, and nothing can touch it, because again, there's no shadow, there's no darkness in God. So the, the gifts of God pass right to us from the Lord. So we have to keep remembering that, and every mean thing the enemy does, just smile at him, and just tell him to get lost. Because you don't want to have him being your father. Have God be your, God is your father anyway. The enemy is just going to lie to you. Everything from the enemy is a lie. So I just want to pray the love of God be upon you. And that you be a blessing to God because you're following his first commandment. Love him 
Love thy neighbors. I don't care how miserable you might feel. That's the enemy. Just smile right through it and expect that God will give you his best. Just keep praying into that. Don't let anything steal that from you. So I want to pray this into everybody here. If you smile and you believe, and you take deep breaths, because God created life through the breath, got to remember to do the breath. That's, that's a huge part of your body because H2O, a little tiny bit of H2O is hydrogen. It's mostly oxygen. That's your breath. Take those deep breaths because it goes into you structurally. It goes into you functionally. A lot of our makeup, I can't help it. It's just the way God created it is, is oxygenation. And it corrects your pH. It gets rid of inflammation. It gets rid of cancer. It gets rid of... Do, the, do your life of the breath and smile and just do dumb little things like this because they're going to help you heal. Just constantly praise God and... and, and Believe in him. Because in the end, unless it's your time to go back to the Lord, none of you have anything God can heal. I pray for people who have things that medically they're, they're zero. We have no possibility of ever healing these people. And God still heals them anyway. That's a miracle. So I want to pray every possible miracle of God into you because that's your genetics. So again, we're going to end with perfect chromosomes, Perfect gene, perfect DNA, perfect RNA, perfect cells. Pray for these things. None of you can't do this. So I'm going to pray for you all as we end. The light of God and the love of God being in every single cell of your body. The blessings of God being upon you. In Jesus' name. Love to you all and bless you. <clears throat> Amen. Amen.